Welcome to Lux Lifestylist, where we redefine luxury by highlighting the must-know people, places, and things. I'm Tori Elizabeth Phillip, a multi-hyphenate who truly believes that we should live life on our own terms and in style. Enough about me. If that is something that you're interested in, make sure that you subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment. Now, for today's Lux topic, we are talking about fall fragrances that will leave them wanting more. These are in no particular order, but just know that they are good with the tea. First on my fall list, it is a fragrance that is from a British house, which is called Penny Hyphen. It is the constant scent. I was just in Doha, Qatar in the airport traveling um, from Nairobi, Kenya. And I wanted a scent that was like spicy, felt like fall was, just mm, like scrumptious when you smelt it. And when the SA grabbed this and he said that Constance is actually extremely hard to get your hands on. And after I smelled it, I was hooked. So hooked to the point that I was like, let me walk around, smell other fragrances, make sure that she is the one. And when I tell you Constance was calling me, like I was yearning for Constance. She was staying in the back of my head. And so just to kind of read you some of the notes of this fragrance, and I'll show you the bottle and all of that because this packaging is so beautiful. So some of the notes are, uh, the top note is cardamom. We have the middle note, which is salted caramel. So she's very buttery and just, ooh, just melts. And then the base note is tobacco. So it gives you that smoky smell. And so, what the brand says about Constance, a modern woman, she has no regard to rules. She's a rebel. She does her own thing. And when I smelt this, that's exactly what I got. I felt like it was unique. It was powerful, yet light and inviting. But she's definitely not one to play with. So for the grand reveal, this is Constance. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, look at this bottle in the color I actually polished my nails today and it's this is called London Fog and this is a British brand and it matches just perfectly and so just oh my god <laughs> this is so good so 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 good <clears throat> y'all this is definitely one worth smelling like if you can get your nose on this, you will absolutely love it. The cardamom, the caramel, you smell all of those notes. It does have that smoky, smoky um, essence to it, but not like you're in a cigar lounge. Just very, you know, just giving a little zhuzh. This is a very well-rounded fragrance and I, I think this might be one of my top, like, this is going to be my go-to this fall and this winter. I have not worn her yet, but when I tried it on in the airport, she stayed on me. It was very long lasting. It had a beautiful sillage. I smelt it on me. I kept finding myself sniffing myself and just falling in love with it over and over again. So again, make sure you go ahead and smell Constance by Penny Halligans. It is absolutely an it fragrance and one that I believe will be in my collection forever. Ever, 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 ever. The next fragrance that is a fall fragrance must have that will leave them wanting more is by the French house Louis Vuitton. And I also bought this during my trip to Qatar I was looking for fragrances for my birthday and I wanted something that wasn't typical for me. Um, and I am normally not like an oud girl, but this one is so good. And the oud is more in the base note, so it's not like at the forefront, but just to kind of let you know, some of the fragrances that is in this, this is called the Fleur du Desert. And it is a mix of florals, oud, 
Um, it actually has three top florals from the Middle East in Saudi Arabia, which is the jasmine, rose, as well as the orange blossom. Uh, some of the additional notes, we have jasmine from grass. We have sandback jasmine absolute. We also have orange blossom absolute, centifolia absolute, uh, centifolia rose absolute, as well as Bagorian rose and oud wood or oud wood essence. And like I said, I'm typically not a flower girl. I'm typically not a oud girl, but the way that they blended this was just chef's kiss. It is so good. It's very pretty girl, but she's about her business. Like she's long lasting. She holds on to you. She has an amazing sillage. I'm actually wearing this today. Um, it's beautiful packaging. I love the sleekness of the white with the black top, which has the Louis Vuitton logo on it or monogram on it. And it comes into a box as well as the tube is inside the box. And it is this beautiful black bottle. Oh, I can smell it just already and I haven't even opened her. Like she is uh, magnificent. I've been wearing this since this morning. And when I tell you, I smell it on me all throughout the day. I haven't reapplied, but I will just because I love the scent so much. Um, and I just love the bottle, love the gold and the embossed detailing of the Louis Vuitton and magnetic top that comes with it. I mean, I'm going to love all of these scents. Like, <laughs> they're also just luxurious and so amazing. And just uh, my favorite. Mm. She's, it's so soft, yet it still pulls you in. It still has, like, depth to it. Um, it's not... It almost has, like, a clean smell to it as well. It's giving me like fresh out the shower, but not like dial soap <laughs> smelling. It's very like, look like I take luxurious baths. Like I take good, great care of my skin. Like I care about the way I step out. It's very just elegant and grown. Like I feel grown, not old lady-ish, but grown. Um, and I just love this. You guys, Definitely smell this. I've been looking for a Louis Vuitton fragrance for a while and I've smelled many of them. And this was the first one that's actually like I gravitated towards and I love her. Oh, I just love. Whew. So good. So, 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 so good. Make sure you get your nose on this and smell it definitely an it girl okay so the next fragrance that we have is i actually bought this a while ago <laughs> maybe even nine months ago and i just have not opened it i bought it on one of my trips um i love to actually buy fragrances when i'm in the airport via duty free because i can smell like a variety of different fragrances and then i also like that i get to save on duty free um but i was waiting for the fall time to be able to open this up and smell it and so I will unbox it now here. It's Jo Milan, it's the Dark Amber and Ginger Lily Cologne Intense. So the notes that are in it, the top note is black cardamom, very uh, smoky note. It also has like fresh ginger, very like unmistakably clean and sensual smell. Uh, the middle note we have black orchid. It's a rare flower, it's water lily, it's jasmine bouquet. Have I'm gonna pronounce this wrong, it's Japanese. <laughs> and my husband speaks Japanese and he was trying to get me to pronounce it the proper way, but I'm gonna try. And so, Kiata. And um, it is actually a very ceremonial scent. It's a woodsy scent. Um, it is a part of a ceremony in Japan um, that they utilize the Kiata wood. And so, Let's go ahead and open her up. I haven't smelled her again in like nine months, but I do remember really loving this scent. And so it comes in a box like this. Ooh. She is not trying to come out. There we go. 
So she is in this cute bottle here, black bottle, silver top. Mm. Okay, I'm just gonna spray her right here on the lid. Ah, oh, you definitely get that ginger. It has a very deep smell, very like lots of depth, lots of layers. I think it's the black orchid that I'm picking up. It's just a nice scent. To be honest, I think I would wear this more like towards the evening time. It's not that you can't wear it during the day. I think that it's just more of like that after five scent. It's really beautiful. Um, definitely get your nose on this and smell it. It is a cologne intense, so it has long lasting wear. Um, it's a beautiful fragrance. I really like this and I'm looking forward to being able to wear this. And once I wear it out, I'll give you guys a more deeper review on it, but just fresh out the bottle, kind of first spray, it's, it's good. Ah, oh, there's something deep like else in this that I'm picking up. I think it must be the wood that I'm smelling. Very beautiful. So definitely recommend this. It is the Joe Malone Dark Ginger and Lily Cologne Intense. Okay, so the next perfume that we have is actually can be unisex for a man, woman, or anyone who um, loves this fragrance. I am an amber girl. So when I was showed this fragrance again, while I was in Doha, um, and it is actually a brand that is from the Middle East. And so I love that to be able to buy a fragrance that's from the place that I was at. And it is Oryx Amber. Oh my God. Like it is so, so good. It's very woodsy. She is spicy. She is like not just your typical Amber. She has lots of layers to her. And the bottle is so beautiful. It comes in this packaging here. And I'll pop this out for you guys. It looks like this. It's giving me that very like Middle Eastern design and vibe, which I love. And this is so good, y'all. She's spicy yet inviting. Again, very long lasting. When I wear this, it stays on me. It's a good like all day scent. And to be honest, I just feel sexy when I wear this. It's not one of those like overbearing sexy. It's just a very like confident, very decisive, very, I know where I'm going in life. This scent is just magnificent. I haven't found too many brands who have done amber in this way. And I just absolutely love it. Um, some of the, the notes, just so you know, it has plum in it, it has cinnamon, it has black pepper. Those are the top notes for the middle note. It has Turkish rose, alibanum, as well as patchouli. And for the base notes, it has sandalwood, cedarwood, labdanum, and benzone. And it is just, oh, this one's good. This is, this is a really good one. Like, this was one of the first scents after the Louis Vuitton one that I smelled while I was there. And I remember leaving the counter, exploring all the other scents. I think I probably smelled like a hundred additional scents. And I found myself wanting to go back to make sure I got this one because I am an amber girl. And this is to me, probably the most amazing amber that I have smelled. So again, Oryx Amber and Another one that I have that is from Oryx is the musk. So they actually gave me a sample of this. He felt like if I love the amber that I would most likely love the musk as well. And this one is probably my most like go-to one that I found myself wearing. It is just such a beautiful scent. Um, I actually wear this on lately. I've been wearing this at night and 
as soon as I lay down and my husband like kind of lays next to me, he always says like, hmm, you smell really nice. But I haven't told him what I had on, but it's been the Oryx Musk. And this is a really good, just everyday scent, really good layering. I actually layered this with the Louis Vuitton today. I put this one on first, the Floor du Desert. And then I topped it off with the musk and I think it just adds a very like well-rounded combo and it gives you like a more, more unique scent that's your own as opposed to just wearing the fragrance out the bottle. But both are good on their own, but they're amazing together. And so just to kind of give you some of the notes that are in the Oryx musk are a very woody, amber, floral, powdery. She's also musky, citrus, rose has top notes which are bergamot and freesia we have middle notes which are rose sandalwood cedar and then our base notes ambroxan cashmerian as well as tonic and so it's funny because this one is called amber but it didn't really have amber notes in it but this one has all the amber in it but it is a true musk it really is um I love this scent. I absolutely love this scent. Like I just find myself really grabbing and gravitating towards it. I put this on in the morning. I put this on at night. It's perfect fresh out the shower. It just grasps onto your skin. It's very luxurious. It's very light. It's very inviting. But it also has like a little bit of sexiness to it. Not a deep and heavy sexiness, but it's just very light sexiness. And it has a beautiful sillage where it just makes you go like, hmm, what does she have on? These are my fragrances that I believe are absolutely must-haves. They're beautiful fall fragrances. You even can wear these in the winter. And they are definitely fragrances that will have him, she, them, whoever just wanting more, wanting to indulge more. Like it is a very mm, just luxe and sexy and amazing fragrances that I absolutely love. I will be wearing all of these this fall and this winter. And make sure you guys like let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these, if there's any scents that I should try out that you think are some fragrances that I need to add into my collection. Um, but I hope that you love these. Let me know your thoughts. And if you like this video, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share, all the things. And thank you for tuning in to Lux Lifestylist. Until next time, bye loves. <laughs>